beautiful. And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, better show. I'm Gabor. <laughs> hey, welcome. I'm Alex. <laughs> and we have something very special today. This is very cool. This is the new Chase Bliss audio. Coming up today. Reverb. Yes, it is. Um, if you're watching this today. If just uh, launched a, this is the Dark World all digital reverb. Yes, the first all digital offering mm. by Chase Bliss. And it's yes. coming today, uh, November 19th, 2018, I believe. Um, so if you're watching it on a different date, it came out on that date. Did. I think, yes. Um, cool. Okay, so it's a, a dual digital reverb. Yep. All digital. It is. Um, because you can't fit a plate reverb in a No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it makes another version with a huge backpack that you've yep, got to carry around with. And a truck. And a truck. Um, basically, it's two sides. Mm. So you've got uh, one side labeled W, which is world, and one side labeled D, which is dark. Now, world is the sort of more straightforward kind of side, um, which I believe was co-developed with Robert Keeley at, and Keeley Designs. Yes. And basically, you've got to think of it as that is the world side, so which is uh, spring, hall, and plate reverb. Yeah, kind of more traditional, straightforward reverbs. Uh, all very pretty, though. Extremely pretty. And you've got, so that's, you switch between the spring, plate, and hall with that switch. Uh, you've got a dwell knob, which gives you the delay to the time, the amount of reverb you get. Yep. And a pre-delay, which uh, is the pre-delay. So quite often, when you hit a reverb, it, has, it takes a second for it to come back. Yep. So it gives you that, that extra time for the reflection. Uh, then you have the dark side, uh, which is this, um, which was, I believe, also co-developed with Cooper effects, yes. which I've never heard of before, but if that's, but if that's what they do, I'd like to hear more about Cooper effects. Um, it, that's sort of the quirky side of things. Hmm. So you've got uh, three reverbs, one called Black, which is the one you heard in the intro. You have one called Shim and one called Mod. Uh, the knobs kind of change depending on what it is, uh, yep. on, depending on which setting it is. So Black is basically an infinite um, reverb, almost like an infinite sustain, mm -hmm. uh, which is what you heard in the intro. You have Shim, which is a shimmer reverb, and you can go an octave up or an octave down. Damn. And yep. you have some interesting modulation things that happen there. And you've got mod, which is basically a really heavily modulated reverb. It almost yeah. sounds like a warp vinyl, yeah. <laughs> which is, I guess, another taste based thing. But I think it's meant to be a, a VHS cassette tape. They refer to it as that. They uh, refer to it as that in the, it, in the manual. And it does kind of sound like It does that. kind of, yes, yeah. it absolutely does. So that's that. And then in the middle, you have the two knobs, a global setting, which is mix. So you can go from all wet to all dry. And you have tone, which on the world side is just a straightforward um, low-pass filter. So you can roll off highs. So you can make it darker. But on the world, on the dark side, sorry, um, it it is a, a, a resonant low-pass filter. So it's almost like yeah. what you would hear on a synth where instead of it just rolling off, it actually sort of spikes a frequency before it rolls it off, um, which uh, gives it a kind of a resonant filter. Hmm. We, we can actually do some pretty cool sort of sweeps with it, which we'll get into as well. And then you have, as always, oh, and then you have the switch in the middle also, which is a global switch, uh, where you can run the two reverbs in parallel. You can run dark into world, or you can run world into dark. Very cool. And that which gives you different sounds, and you have things a lot. the two presets yes. in the middle. And then, as always, you have um, you have your uh, MIDI in. So if you have MIDI compatible things, you can store. I think it's up to one hundred twenty eight presets. A bunch, yeah. Um, and on the other side, you have an expression pedal and CV in. So we've got an expression pedal here, which we'll plug in later on as well. Which basically, we should slow. We should get a little bit into the whole ramping thing and the dip switches in the back yep. for people that don't know. But um, so you can either make it do things by itself, yes. which in the intro it was that kind of pulse that you heard, which was actually the um, the modify knob um, was um, oscillating, yep. so it was moving um, through dip switches. But you can do the same thing if you plug the um, uh, uh, expression pedal in, you can do it manually instead of it doing it for you, basically. Mm -hmm. Or CV control as well, so you can have synths, for example, you can have LFOs on the synth control it. Mm. Get into modular world. Yes. Cool. So I think that's that's everything on it. <laughs> so should we start with just some some yeah, sounds? Yeah, let's get some. Um, let's get a dry signal. Do you want me to start? Should play. Okay. So um, Jazzmaster Duncan Antiquity pickups straight into a Serotone OTS Mini Twenty. We have a Mostronix. What is it? The Expand Drive, which is kind of like a uh, um, modern tube screamer, tube type, screamer s kind of thing. If we thing. want some drive uh, on the floor as well, but that's so clean is. sound is suchly. Mm -hmm. 
So let's start with the hall. Yep. I'll start with the tone up in the middle, so the mix about 50 fix 50. Yep. Dwell it halfway and pre delay down. Let's roll. And this is the hall reverb. So, it sounds really cool. It's yeah. it, it 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 it's a real sort of room sound totally. with the with the uh, with short. all the way down. Yeah, and it will get really way more than a hall at extreme levels. Oh yeah, yeah it's a huge hall. So it becomes an ambient thing. Like, there's a dog. There's a dog. So yeah, turn, maybe turn the pre delay up a bit. So the pre delay just means um, there's. A, it, I think it goes up. It goes from zero all the way counterclockwise to zero. To all the way clockwise is 200 milliseconds. Yeah. So it gives you 200 milliseconds before the reverb actually hits. Now let's um let's go all the way up and all the way pre delay. See what happens. So with the pre-delay, with the massive long reverb sounds, it'll make your notes pop through. That, that's Because you've got an attack. Yeah, and yeah. then it, there's a, a, a slight delay until the reverb sounds develop. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. So it's good for the ambient thing where you still want note definition. Yeah. Rather than just playing pads, you can still play melody lines. Yeah. Um, okay, go to the plates because that's I love the plate sound on that. Okay, that's this is... <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> Not fabulous. And the cool thing is, so for example, because mm. it sounds cool when you move the pre-delay thing, because you get that yeah. almost like a, uh, when you have a delay pedal and you turn the time up and down, okay. you get that whoosh sound. You can assign that to oh. an expression pedal and you can do that. Awesome. How cool is that? Awesome. It's just such a nice plate reverb. I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for plate reverbs. It's a nice place to be. But that is especially nice. Okay. So kudos, Joel Corti. And, and uh, by the way, big thank you, Joel, Joel for sending this out. It's very cool. Um, and uh, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. I like. I like.
It's lovely. The lovely, short, lovely, the short lovely. ones too. Not, uh, the short uh, plate is very nice too. It is. The whole range is great. Mm. Um, and I love also. I mean, the the tone as well. It's it's a nice tone roll off too. It's, it doesn't get too dark. It doesn't get too bright. It's. Yeah. I think it's it's voiced really well, beautifully. Sure. Uh, this is the spring setting. Okay. We play some surf. That's as much surf as I know. Yeah, I'm not surf guy. I grew up far, far, far away from any ocean. So. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. Um, um, cool. Yeah, so that's that. Should we also? Well, do you want to do, do you want to do the other side? Sure. But should we before we do that? Hang on. Yeah. This is this is the, the non-flattering shot because we had the uh, um, dip switches on before, so I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Um, I should also mention there's dip switches in the back for you can turn the buffer on and off. And you can turn trails on and off. So you can have, I think at the moment it's off. So if you go, uh, if you go, yeah. But you can turn the trails on. So it, as you turn it off, it trails. Cool. And there's a buffer on and off as well. And so we'll get into the dip switches okay. shortly. We'll just do some sounds first. Okay, so dar the dark side. <laughs> I'm sure there's a Star Wars reference there somewhere. Most likely. Um, okay, so let's do the dark side. So the, uh, Let's start off with, let's start off with black. So black basically is a, I'm still on. Oh, oh there we go. Black is basically a, a, an infinite kind of sustain almost kind of thing. Okay. So, uh, and the decay knob up the top basically becomes almost a sensitivity. Hmm. So if the decay knob is all the way down, and let's turn that up, all right, and you play something now. So that basically, wow. <laughs> it just holds that whatever you're playing, right? It's still there. Um, and now, if you play something else, if you play as that's playing, wait, wait, wait for it to happen. If you play something else, uh, if with with the decay knob all the way down, it you don't have to hit it very hard for it to go to the next thing. Gotcha. Right. So let's try that. Now, if you turn this up, yeah, uh, you can softly play over kind of what you're playing. All right. And after a while, it just get crazy. But sure. it, it's kind of like the sensitivity how it go, how you go from one infinite thing to the next infinite thing, sure. right? And in the intro, for example, that pulsating sound. What I was doing is I was modulating the the modify knob. Mm -hmm. So um, it went from reverb to no reverb to reverb to no reverb. If that makes sense, because that's sort of the reverb, right? So the lower you have that down, the less reverb you have. Cool. It's kind of like, almost like volume for the reverb. Uh -huh. Nice. Right. So it's an infinite sustain reverb. All right, let's go next. Let's go to Shim. So now Shim is kind of cool. Yes. Uh, and again, it does different things. So if I, let's let's start off by just making it a normal Shimmer reverb. If, if I turn it all the way up, it's a normal Shimmer reverb. And then you basically have at 12 o'clock on the modify knob, it's 
it's neither octave up nor octave down. Mm. And then you basically blend in an octave up if you go clockwise, and you blend in an octave down as you go counterclockwise. So let's have a listen. So it's it's and, and that it really works best in conjunction with another reverb. Yeah. So I mean, if you just want a straightforward shimmer reverb, for example, if you turn that on, so it it works good in conjunction with it. And yeah. right now we're headed running in parallel, but I mean we'll get into that as well. Um, the cool thing you can do with the decay knob, so the decay knob now becomes, as far as I understand it, right, yes. with shimmer reverb, what a shimmer reverb does, or uh, let's say this shimmer reverb does, <laughs> is it kind of takes a snapshot of what you're playing and it creates, it's almost like a sample and hold kind of thing, and it creates yeah. another octave. octave up or down version of it. Yep. And then it very quickly modulates between the original sound and what it, the sampled part. So as you're playing, it keeps sampling what you're playing and it, ve it very quickly goes between the two. And if you have a big reverb behind it, it just sounds like you're playing one thing. But what it actually does, it keeps alternate, it keeps modulating between your note and yeah. the, the, the octave note. I guess if you didn't have that modulation, if you just had the octave, you, it wouldn't sound like an octave. Probably you not. you don't have a reference point like the lower part and the higher part. Yeah. 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 Um, and so the cool thing now with this is if you turn that down, you actually slow that modulation down so you get a glitchy sound, which is quite cool. It is cool. So <laughs> it sounds like this. And the cool thing is also with that, in the middle, it's a unison note, glitchy unison note. Yeah, true. Which is kind of cool. Um, so that's a shim, shimmer reverb, or shim reverb in this case, which is kind of, I think just, I, I really like that. Mm. You know, set it to, so you can hear that oscillation, that modulation. Okay, then we have mod. Now mod is basically uh, the, the decay knob now controls how much reverb you have, and the modify knob gives that, it's crazy modulation, we'll hear it. Okay, let's turn it down first, and let's start with that. It's cool. Need, Just that is cool. I need to eat a sandwich and have a lie down. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so that's that's the three dark dark side um, um, reverbs. Mm. So by themselves they're really cool. But then an interesting part is when you start combining the two. 
Especially stacking them. Stacking them. So yeah. at the moment, everything was in parallel. So parallel, I guess, means you've got the signal coming in, it splits into two, you've got one side is the dark reverb, one side is the world reverb, and then it gets yeah. put together and comes out. Mm. What you can now do, for example, so if we're going back to that um, that mod, mod reverb we just had, yeah, so if you go to the middle section, you go dark into world. Cool, so you get the tails of the world on the on the back of the modulation. on the back of the modulation yeah. so th that's the modulation Boring, <laughs> but the mix you can add how much craziness you want. How much, yeah, especially absolutely. In settings like that. Absolutely. And the other cool thing, again, you can, for example, mm. assign the expression pedal to the mix, True. so you can you can say how much of it you want. How you much can, crazy? You can go crazy and cr crazier and crazy less crazy. Yes. And the thing is, um, I mean, and, and again, we'll kind of get into the switches and stuff more. But you can set like a, either a minimum or a maximum. So where your knob, where the knob is set, that can be your minimum on the expression pedal True. or your maximum on the expression pedal. So you can have it so it's always a little bit there, and if you want more, you can just go more. So you can have it, you know, like halfway. Yep. But then to go crazy, you can have your expression pedal set so 100%. It yeah. goes to 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so or anything you want, really. Uh, yeah, okay, now let's 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 let's, let's try the same sound, but yeah. now instead of going ah, cool. dark into world, let's go world into dark. Let's try this first. Now let's try the same same sound. I'm not changing anything else. World into dark. So now you basically have the sound of the reverb, and that then hits the modulation, modulation side. Yeah. So it's it's a completely different sound. So you have much more of your mm. original guitar there. It's like same concept as running a fuzz into a flanger rather than a flanger into a fuzz. Yeah, same pedal order. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's let's try a few different ones and try to cool. try different pedal order out. Yeah, yeah. So um, check out some. Let's go. Stuff. Okay, let's 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 always start parallel. So let's do now the the shim one for example. So let's get a shim setting we like. It's quite different as you change it. Mm. You get quite different sounds out of it. Um, so this, sorry? These are all super wacky, fun sounds. Can we go like some more, just for be boring, some more traditional type stuff? Oh, man. Can, sure. we, can we get that slight modulation thing going? Okay, good. Modu okay, yeah, okay. And then a short spring. <laughs> you know, I know you don't like this. No, that's all right. Well, let's, let's be boring. Okay, go. <laughs> Again. 
So you got the spring with that. Yeah, it's just wobble. trying to get that kind of slight wave vibrato, springy kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fun. Or you can have, you can do fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can. <laughs> Were you? Which one should we go to? Let's get a shim. Let's do that, but in unison, and let's have dark going into world, and yeah, something like that. That's what every good household needs. <laughs> no, I think it's cool. I think it's a really cool um, reverb. Should we look at the dip switches? Yes. Let's do that. All right. So, so I'll go down here for that. Cool. Uh, because it's a little bit tricky to get to. Okay. Uh, hello. Okay. So you've got dip switches in the back. You've got uh, 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 the ones with the blue writing and the ones with the black writing. So ones with the black writing are things like um, Motobird. W and Motuba D. Excellent. <laughs> Which is, uh, um, it uh, basically it turns them into momentary switches. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, so the, the world section or the dark section, right? That sort of stuff. You have bounce, which we'll get to shortly. Uh, and then you also have sweep and you have trails and buffer. So trails and buffer, um, at the moment, we didn't have it switched on before, but trails basically means if you play something you have lots of reverb you push the button it's gone yeah whereas trails means it'll you turn it off and it'll keep going the tails will linger the tails will linger, linger. and buffer you can add a buffer on and off as well yeah, cool. whether you like a buffer or choose not to have a buffer um okay now basically what the dip switches do it makes it's as if someone stands here and twists a knob for you basically mm. um so uh, uh, you turn it on, and what will happen is, oh, and I should also mention sweep. So sweep, what sweep does, you have top and bottom sweep. So bottom, what it's set to at the moment means, it goes from basically the knob on zero to wherever it's set. Top means it goes from wherever it's set to the top. Yep. Right? Um, and then you can also turn on... Um, uh, uh, yeah, basically that's that. Pretty much that's what it is. And then you have bounce. Bounce is the other thing where, if you don't have bounce on, it will only go once. Mm -hmm. Bounce will make it means it goes from, at the moment it's set to bottom, so it goes from zero to wherever the knob is set and back and back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, bounces back and forth and back. And, forth. and then once you turn some of these dip switches on or any of these dip switches on, your decay knob be now becomes a ramp knob, so it gives mm -hmm. you the it's the speed of the ramping. And it's semi counterintuitive because it's the opposite to what you think it is. As you turn it down counterclockwise, it goes faster. As you turn it up clockwise, it gets slower. So let's try, for example, just what should we try? Let's try, for example, okay, let's do a plate reverb. Yeah. Yeah. And we were talking before about pre delay. 
Yeah. So. There it is. There it is. Uh, let's give it to the mix about halfway. Yeah. So we were talking about um, um, the pre-delay before, that you can do some maybe fun stuff with the pre-delay because it does that time warp sort of thing. So what we can do yeah. now is let's turn on bounce and let's turn on the pre-delay knob. So now wherever we set it to, that's the maximum. Okay. And then it goes from zero to there and back. It does oh, this. Makes, makes me feel <laughs> funny in, Okay, that's enough. So that's that, right? <laughs> so basically it just means the knob goes from one to the other. And actually what I should also, I don't know if we, we talked about that before or not, but on the world setting, the tone knob is basically just a, um, yeah, yeah. a low pass filter. So basically all it does is it turns off the, 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 the top frequency. So if you look at the EQ, it would look like that. And you just move to where you want the high frequency sees to be rolled off. So if we're going, for example, uh, let's do a long, and again, let's just do mostly all, all reverb, no sure. dry, so yeah. you can hear it. And if we turn that down, so this is the... That's the that's the tone on the world side. On the dark side, it's a resonant low pass filter. Yes. Meaning, if you look at the if you want to look at the um, the EQ curve, it kind of spikes before it rolls off, which is what a lot of synthesizers do. Yeah. So, for example, if we go to let's go to let's do the black one. Black. Um, oh, actually, did I turn it off? Let's turn that off. <clears throat> okay. So if I now do the same thing on on the black on the the um, infinite sustain reverb, mm -hmm. you'll hear that resonant. But now wouldn't it be great to not have to sit here and do that, but yeah, you know, like if you don't have any friends, if you don't have any friends, to help you out. So what you can do is you can then a bounce on doing that, <laughs> and you can turn the tone. Which one's the tone? That's the tone. <laughs> you turn a tone on, and now wherever you set it, uh, it will now go back and forth. But now, wouldn't it be cool if you can actually, instead of it going just up and down, mm. if you can actually decide when you want it to go up and down. Oh. Because what you could do be ace. is plug in an expression pedal such as this one. One we prepared earlier. One we prepared earlier into the expression CV I say, knob. I say prepared. We and I'm all... sorry if I'm loud because the microphone is right there. So if I'm really loud, I'm sorry. That's okay. But uh, I'm always loud. But um, so what you can do now is now that it's it's turned on, right? Mm. But as soon as you plug it in, instead of it doing it by itself, you're doing it now with the expression pedal. Ah, oh. oh. and I got to turn it on. <laughs> And I just want to mention instant mouth too. So. <laughs> Pedal it 
actually catches the resonance. Well, and I guess different pedals are different as well because you've got polarity things sure. there. So. And you can basically do that with any knob, right? Yep. Any other knobs you can assign to either the moving by themselves, mm. or um, you do it with an expression pedal, or it's got CV in as well, so control voltage, which means you can use a, let's say, synthesizer that has a, an LFO on it, or modular system with an LFO. You can run that into there, and that will then control it, awesome. which is pretty cool. Yeah. So, I mean, that's basically in a nutshell of dip switches. So I think I mentioned you have the, the buffer and trails, you can turn it on, the sweep, meaning top to bottom or bottom to top, um, and you have uh, all the other things. So basically that's, that's, that's pretty much that. So should we now actually quickly, hang on, let me get back up here. Oh, you right? <laughs> just an old man sitting on the floor. Oh, so, um, so old. Should we quickly look at the presets? Speaking of presets. Yeah, sure. Oh, so what you can do, if you plug uh, into the MIDI um, part here, yeah. is you can, if you have a MIDI controller, um, and you have a MIDI to TRS converter, or well, I think Chase Bliss even, they used to sell it, I don't know if they still do, but they have their own little MIDI, convert, MIDI converter um, thing, mm. where it converts MIDI to TRS. You can store up to 128 presets. Uh, you can also get their own uh, preset, little preset thing eating um, yep. pedal. So I don't know how many you can store in that, but like six or something, or four, four or six or something presets. Um, so and you can also store two on the actual pedal. You can. And these are the presets. It these came are the with. factory ones. Yes. Do you want to have a, sh have a play? Sure. Awesome. And the thing I should also mention is with all the presets, so anything you store on the dip switches in the back is yeah. stored on the presets. So for example, we have trails turned off, but on the preset, trails must have been turned on because it's it was off there. And it's still rang out. Um, so anything you store, any of the dip switches, wherever you set them, whatever you do, that gets stored as you store the, the okay. your preset. So that was, there was a lot going on there. There was like a, a shimmer and... Mm. So it must have been Shimmer on that side, and then I guess a really long reverb on that side. Maybe probably a play Almost something. infinite. Well, let's check out the other one. Okay. Is it you? Okay. Um, I think so. And that was the Mostronic uh, Expand Drive. Just a little bit of hair. Sort of uh, Tube Screamer-esque sort mm. of thing. Um, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, there's it tons of stuff you can do. The sounds are really cool. I It was one of those pedals, um, and I'm not just saying it because we're doing the video now, but it was one of those pedals. I The first time I plugged it in, I kind of went, oh, yeah, it's a reverb. And then the second time I plugged it in, I had a little bit more time, and I sat down and I started playing with it. And I was in my studio, and... My wife knocked on the door and said, oh, are you, when are you coming in? And it was like two hours later. Yeah, I got cool. completely lost um, just sitting there with the reverb. And just it was just, it's just really lovely. And there's a whole bunch uh, of presets that come with it, as in, in the book. You know, you, you turn the knobs to wherever you want it to be in the, in the manual. Mm. Um, and some of them are really cool. And then once I started sort of playing and did my own stuff with it, I just got completely lost. And it, it doesn't happen that often. 
yeah, sure. there's only very few pedals, and this was one of them. And um, it's a reverb pedal, but to me, it's it, it is quite unique and quite different. Yeah, I think with any of the Chase Bliss stuff or this kind of thing, where there's different layers of um, functionality. Yep. You kind of like we've only had it for a little little period of time, and over time, you're probably going to find ways to use it for your own music. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, I, I there'll think be, there'll be other videos and other demos of people making completely different sounds. Yeah, yeah. You know? I'm, and, I'm uh, really looking forward to checking out all the other videos that yeah, for sure. coming out today <laughs> on the 19th, <laughs> which is probably sort of today. Um, yeah, so check it out. Uh, it's a cool pedal. Big thank you to Joel. Should we actually Thanks, maybe tag at the end now? Um, tag a couple of synth sounds, maybe. Possibly, if that then works. May, we'll we may <laughs> actually, we may or may not. You may see it or may you may not see it. Just a couple of synth sounds going through the dark world. Yeah. So if you do enjoy, if not, see. we'll do it some other time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big thanks to everyone for watching. Uh, please hit, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get a message when there's a new video up. And there will be most likely a podcast coming out the same time as the video where we this talk about true. this very... Dark World Pedal by Chase Bliss. And there'll be links to the podcast on, what's it called? Linktree. Linktree. Below. And, uh, uh, yeah, so big thank you to Joel, Joel Corti at Chase Bliss yep. for sending that out to us. All very cool stuff. Uh, uh, very honoured that, you know, we got this as a sort of a mm. um, pre-release kind of thing. And uh, yeah, thank you so much everyone and bye-bye. Catch you around. See ya.